Hey yo, folks, it's all, and this is a channel segment that I call, you know, it'd be cool. The kind of energy that I want to bring to this is that we're, you know, it's like we're all kind of sitting around, we're having drinks, we're having a snack, you and I are gaming, we're just vibing, and I'm going to present a pitch. You know, it'd be cool if World of Warcraft had its own kind of ultimate mode for raiding. Now, I know that the audience here isn't like super super interested in raiding let alone mythic raiding let alone in ultimate mode for like raid encounters and stuff but i'd love for you to hear me out anyway and next time hopefully the topic will be a little bit more for you so hit the like button subscribe for more of like everything and let's get to uh pitching this idea and some basic details on how it would work and, and of course uh what the impact could be at the start of a given uh, tier or season a new feat of strength and an achievement are going to be introduced. It's going to ask you to complete this so-called ultimate version of a raid, where if you complete it, this achievement, if you complete it before the end of uh, this expansion or the start of the next expansion, whatever, you get this feat of strength. It's saying like, hey, I did it. Here's my shirt or whatever. If you complete it at all, as in like you do it like, you know, five, ten years from now, you're going to at least get the regular achievement. You know, I at least did it. And we're going to start off with that. It's super easy. Uh, that uh, that much ought to make sense. So what is ultimate difficulty? Aside from me totally ripping off the ultimate experience from Final Fantasy XIV, because they're not even close to the same thing. Let's not do a whole game versus game thing here, please. Ultimate difficulty is essentially just mythic difficulty with a twist. All combat logging is going to be disabled. And here's specifically how that's going to work. Before you log into the game, like at the character select screen, there's going to be some sort of checkbox either in the add-on menu or somewhere on the screen where you can disable all forms of combat logging. It'll pretty much disable the log that you see in your chat window normally. It would also disable the ability to track the built-in warnings and the emotes that you normally see from bosses that you would at least see in the chat log. And it would disable advanced combat logging in such a way that like you'd still be able to upload your performance on sites like Warcraft logs, but you wouldn't be able to use them as like a real time thing as a, you know, like on an external overlay. And maybe I'm missing some details, but basically what I'm trying to do is add an option or a toggle before you even log into the game that would make add ons like uh, damage meters or boss mods or most weak auras just no longer work. But for the most part, you know, HUDs like uh, LVI. Uh, those things should still function just fine. Maybe it'd be easier if the toggle just disabled all add-ons, although I think that's uh, pretty punitive. There are some important accessibility add-ons that Blizzard just hasn't covered yet, but I don't want to get too stuck on the details of what should and shouldn't be allowed. I don't want us to get trapped in there. The point is that well, without question, add-ons do play a really big part in how players take on encounter design. So let's just have, let's just say that we're going to have some sort of option to disable those sorts of things at nearly 100%. So, okay, cool. There's now a toggle to mostly disable add-ons and to make Mythic Raids feel that much harder. The next thing to add would be to add some sort of new background feature where the game can then detect whether someone has logged onto a character with add-ons disabled. If they did, hit that checkbox or whatever. We already have the guild group feature that asks for 80% of the raid team to be part of the guild in order to qualify for guild group achievements. So similar logic is going to apply here. If everyone, everyone in the 20 man raid has that box checked, they enter a mythic raid and it's going to say, you know, in that corner, they're going to be eligible to get ultimate raid achievements. If one person happens to log out and then uncheck the box and log back in, or if someone who has add-ons enabled, they join the raid, then okay, oh no, they're no longer eligible. So 100% participation is required, pretty straightforward. The next part is for ultimate mode to kind of cap or normalize item level. This is kind of an extra, but kind of worth bringing up. So when you activate ultimate mode, your item level is going to be capped to something pretty close to what the item level cap was at the time. So if I happen to walk my Paladin right now into the Vault of the Incarnate Raid from Season 1, my item level is going to go from 440, which it is right now, it'd go down to like, I don't know, like 420 or something close to that. Like item level 424 is kind of like the very high average that you would get from that raid. That makes it so that instead of the end of the season, as in like a cutting edge sort of achievement, you're going to have until the end of the expansion to get this feat of strength because 
Well, frankly, who knows what's going to happen with like item and and level squishing being a thing. But in an attempt, at least, to make this an evergreen feature, the game will just knock your item level down to whatever was appropriate at that time. And on that note, that's really all ultimate mode is. It's just a feat of strength. It's just an achievement. You don't get special gear or cosmetics or a special quest unlock. It's just the glory that you and your team did it. So why even do this? I mean, I do think this is cool. It is one thing to take on the race to World First to have completed World of Warcraft's toughest encounters of its time, you know, thanks to your team and maybe your shot caller on the side. Uh, for some, maybe their team of like add-on creators and programmers to help design the tools to succeed. But it's kind of another thing to have this race to World First Ultimate clear, like this purest mode with no helpful add-ons. How would teams handle it. Is the best strat to learn the encounter with add-ons on the regular mythic version and then armed with the knowledge and the muscle memory to take the training wheels off and do the ultimate mode? Or is it better to learn as you go? Um, and I want to point out too that one thing that can't be disabled here is the presence of the shot caller, you know, that 21st or 23rd person who's watching the raid live who can't at the very least understand all the ins and outs about the fights and the strategy and have a timer ready and just sort of direct the encounter. But, you know, this would be as pure as we can get to taking on mythic challenges with the original add-ons, as in awareness and muscle memory and that person who's yelling at you to move. You might be aware of a lot of conversation and discourse in the endgame scene. People are like, hey, dude, like encounters, they need to be not as busy and complicated. Right now, fights have layers upon layers of things to manage, and it's designed knowing that players are using add-ons to help them out. Blizzard had pretty much said this outright. It's a legit critique, and there's an endless debate over the merits and dependency on add-ons thanks to modern encounter design. Having an ultimate mode with no add-ons would lay it all bare. It's a challenge now to prove the best of the best, and it would expose this criticism for all to see, and it would give an unblemished picture of just what raid encounter design has become. So I would predict that there would be mostly positive outcomes from this. There'd be negative feedback, but ultimately it would lead to positive outcomes. Maybe eventually, this ultimate thing would replace the race to world first. We would definitely get better feedback on what mythic encounter mechanics might just be too much for the regular human brain, and that sort of influence could spill into this overall rethinking of designing encounter difficulty with a slight shift away from having to juggle all these different mechanics, and the design would just kind of go in a different direction. I mean, I'm not sure what, but it'd be something different. And, you know, what if... And this part, okay, this is going to be kind of crazy, but what if instead of ultimate mode, what if this just becomes the new mythic? Yeah, yeah, so never mind some of what I said earlier. How would people react in a future season? Blizzard was like, okay, guys, in order to access mythic, you need to select this option to, to disable most of your add-ons. Like, if they just sort of raw dog it, it'd be a total disaster. It, but, you know, I could see that being a future thing after the team first does it as an experiment. The feedback might be receptive to this difficulty, although again, uh, negative feedback, but positive outcomes where we have future raids that are built around not having to juggle add-ons because, well, we can't really use add-ons for the developers to worry about. And that might be cool. This could work as like this multi-staged plan of presenting a bonus challenge at first, and then its popularity could lead to the bonus becoming like normalized until it's made official. And of course, it might be shit, right? But at the very least, I'm glad that you went on this little bit of a journey with me. Ultimate raids, would it be cool or not? And of course, what other ideas do we have? Because we've got tons of them. Share those in a the comment below. Like the video, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.